Rough Country leveling kit review. Check it out. So what do I like and what don't I like on the Rough Country leveling kit? We're gonna go ahead today and we're gonna start with uh, what I do like, because we are in the Christmas spirit, so let's keep it jolly. Um, three things I like about it. First things first, I love the way the truck looks. The truck just looks absolutely phenomenal on a two inch leveling kit. It's definitely a very cost effective, which is actually number two. It's a very cheap, um, upgrade for your vehicle um, and I'm gonna roll this cost-effective part into the fact that we're we're talking about a name brand here rough country um, suspension is is known across the truck world it's not something that I bought on eBay off some Chinese brand that we're not aware of um, even though this specific leveling kit has mixed reviews um, it's still a known brand so I know that I can reach back out to the manufacturer if I do have any issues um, and the last, uh, my third point on what I like about it is the installation time. I didn't want to invest a whole lot of time in actually installing this leveling kit because eventually this truck's going to be lifted. Um, the leveling kit took a solid 20 minutes per side um, and it didn't really require much um, actual dismantle of the suspension. All right, so the juicy. What don't I like about it? I'll be blunt with you guys. It definitely doesn't break. So that's a plus. Probably should have added that to why I like it but the one thing I don't like is suspension noise getting a lot of suspension noise on sharp corners full lock I get a nice little popping sound I've lifted it a few times search for any types of impact rubbing nothing every time I turn a corner and I go a full lock basically on u-turn I get a nice little reminding sound that I have a rough country leveling kit on my truck but to sum this video up, guys, um, riding in 60 days, I like it. I like the Rough Country leveling kit. Really no real honest concerns other than the noise that it makes from time to time. Um, the truck still rides really, really good. No real swaying, no real concerns about how it takes bumps. It definitely still handles and responds the same exact way. You're basically just spacing your strut. Um, I would recommend this to anyone that wants a nice little two inch leveling kit from a reputable brand and for a cost efficient amount. So definitely guys, check it out um, and add it. So if you stuck around this long and watched to this very moment of the video, do me a quick favor guys, just go ahead and hit that like button on there. Get this video out, definitely don't like the vibes we were giving off on the Rough Country leveling kit. I want everyone to be aware that it really isn't that bad as long as you don't beat the heck out of your truck. Um, and definitely subscribe guys, I'm going to be putting a lot more content out, hopefully um, in 2018. We've got some new things coming for the truck, a new exhaust coming, um, a full suspension lift. I'm going to go with some new, some new wheels and uh, further down the line possibly a Pro Charger and a few other uh, performance mods. Um, so check out my other videos, subscribe it, like it, smash it if you're into that thing. Thanks guys.